On the foggy Saturday morning of May 14th, 2022, Droves of Rail fans gathered between Philadelphia and Morrisville in order to get their last shots of all eight of SEPTA's AEM-7s. These locomotives were traveling to Morrisville, where they would be interchanged with Conrail Shirt Assets. Conrail Shirt Assets would then take them to their final destination, the Scrapper. These locomotives are special to many rail fans, including myself, as they were once the primary power of SEPTA's push-pull sets. However, in 2018, these locomotives were retired from revenue service, being replaced by ACS 64s. I thought I would never get to see one of these locomotives again, so naturally, I took the opportunity to get one last look at SEPTA's AEM-7 fleet, even if it meant getting less than three hours of sleep. Oops. Around 6 a.m., we arrived at our first location, SEPTA's Levittown Station. We were told that the funeral train, aka Extra 52, was scheduled to run behind train 9701 and was to depart Philly around 5.40 a.m. This did not happen as the train would end up leaving around 6.30 with a speed restriction of 30 miles per hour, leaving a long wait time between stations. Finally, after more than an hour of waiting, Extra 52's headlight appeared in the distance. The train is led by SEPTA 52 and 51, two ex-Milwaukee Road SW1200s, which are both nearly 70 years old, almost twice the age of the AEM-7s they're carrying. So I actually lied to you all, there are not 8 AM 7s on this train, rather 7, because SEPTA 2308 is actually an ALP 44, and was the last one of its class in operation when it was still running. I have seen this unit several times on the West Trend line during its service life. It was also the last unit of the fleet I ever saw in operation. We chased extra 52 to Morrisville, where the crew will pull the train just past the interlocking, and then shove back onto the Conrail interchange. After the conductor climbs into 2304 to protect the shove, the funeral train is pushed onto the Conrail interchange, allowing the AEM-7s to lead under the wires one last time.
Lastly, the engines are tied down on the interchange to wait for Conrail to take them on their final journey. This is where we end our chase of Extra 52. aside, I'm glad I was able to see these locomotives for one last time. This is definitely a successful chase and was worth getting up at 4.30 in the morning for. Before we go, here is my one last tribute to the SEPTA AEM7s. Enjoy and thank you for watching. <laughs>